Mabuhai, great day guys, welcome to TSA Toy Stash in Action with another toy review and I'm Ranger Dave and today we are gonna check out the Target exclusive gold label DC Multiverse Batman Year 2 by McFarlane Toys so yes without further ado guys let's go ahead and check this figure out alright guys so here he is inside of the packaging we got Batman Year 2 now this is really awesome now a big shout out to Wildcard Collections on helping us out to get this figure for review this is just really a beast I mean I love the packaging on this and of course you can see here it's based on the art of Todd McFarlane himself so this is awesome this is really really a huge treat right now because today is also the 300 video for the channel so thank you guys so much for supporting in our first connection and yeah you know I love you all everyone that's all have been uh, you know supporting uh, the channel with you know the first video up until now and you know the new uh, subscribers as well so yes I hope you guys enjoy this so let's get this guy outside of the packaging now let's go ahead and turn this first all right so because you know he has a gigantic gigantic box there he got I mean you can see the DC multiverse logo right there right see we got DC multiverse logo and then Batman year 2 right there okay so let's open this bad boy so yeah uh, if you want to see the artwork at the back this is what it looks like you got the year two batman logo so yeah let's try to open this guy right here let's, i got already the tape off so yeah let's just open this guy there you go all right let's go take him out okay so here he is guys outside of the packaging we got batman year two by mcfarland toys it looks awesome all right the cape is amazing right here as you can see it just looks so gorgeous all right now it feels like a statue type all right right now if if you display this piece right here it feels like a statue but a very awesome statue all right and yes uh, as you can see we already assembled the base and of course just added the stand uh, to make him you know be like this awesome right there now uh, when it comes to the entire thing guys this is just a snap-on so it's not that you know a big of a deal uh, <laughs> to look at on the accessories but right now if you got one of these or you're thinking of getting one of these do so or <laughs> this is an amazing piece right here now going to the detail on this guys now the cape right here I'm sorry my camera is auto focusing but there you go so the cape right here it's a soft on the tips but it's really hard right here at these areas especially you know going near the shoulder so uh, it's a mix of soft flyable plastic and hard plastic all right so uh, that's great uh, but that also concerns me when it comes to like um, on how long would you be displaying this but as long as you keep the temperature the same always uh, I believe that it's not gonna you know move or anything like it's not gonna warp or anything so uh, you just need to maintain uh, you know the current temperature that you have on your home so that's really cool and then you got some of the shadings right here some shadowing effects uh, painted on so that's great there you go I mean going right here for the entire back so that's a little bit of a you know dust right there but as you can see there's some shadowing parts I love how how did uh, you know Todd right here scope this entire thing you know that that right there it looks great it adds more dimension uh, when it comes to this entire cape and you know it goes all the way right here at the back when it comes to the shadowing effects so that's just awesome now I do have a little concern when it comes to this because right here on this section there you go this is connecting this two pieces right here I could have wished that they painted at that or with some shadowing effect so that it, you know it, you won't see it that much but since it will be facing at this direction uh, you know you're barely gonna notice it so that's just cool alright so getting the figure guys outside of the cape and changing it with the clock cape right here that we have uh, that's included on packaging uh, it's very easy all right so you all you need to do is just unpeg it right here so it has that stand 
So you might want to unpack that first and then you're going to take the entire cape and Batman right here. So that's what it looks like without the base. It actually still looks cool. Uh, but yeah, you can take off the Batman right here. Uh, but you want to, you know, unpeg uh, the head right here because it's on the bow joint, so it's gonna be easy. And then you just slide it out right here to get the entire torso and legs of the Batman figure. And then this is uh, that entire chunk of, uh, you know, plastic when it comes to the cape. Now this is uh, the poles that's connected to the entire thing. You know that's gonna be assembled so it's very easy you know just peg it peg it right there and then then you know you already got this giant cape now you can take this right here put it at the side and if you want to see the base right here this is what it looks like there you go so printing light and yeah it looks really dope all right so you got Barbara Gordon right there Tim Drake and then let's see here Thomas Wayne, Jason Todd. Looks like this is like an old man Batman uh, feel. And, and you know when you get this uh, display piece right here. I actually love the detail on this. It looks really really great. And you got some Soon Stone right there. You got Selina Kyle. There you go. So a highly detailed you know base. Among all of McFarlane's, you know, base, this is the most detailed uh, version that we got. So this is really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and build our do-it-yourself Batman. So you got Bathead, you got Batman, and of course you get uh, extra hands uh, for a Batman figure. So here you go. So once you get the entire figure, so this is what it looks like, of course, you would see the detail out of it. There you go, I'm trying to get down focus. So, you know, standard uh, Batman, uh, it's actually a mix because this is right here is like the Bizarro uh, body right there. And then you got new legs, you know, so new legs right there, so new knees. And yeah, uh, let's go ahead and assemble it. So you got the cape, so you just need to open it right here. You got pegs right there at the bottom or at the back of the suit. And then you got pegs there at the top. You just need to peg it in. There you go. And then you have the cape aligned. And then you can raise it up right here. I could should have just, you know, did the opposite right here so you can take uh, this hand so this is gonna be uh, the right hand just peg it in just try to peg that there, there we go and then just peg uh, the left hand right there so let's just give a little snap to it let's try snap it on there you go all right there you have it so this looks so cool all right so let me try to fix the cape there you go just trying to fix that cape there you go so it looks like he's on a blanket then you just put on batman's head right there looking really dope and here you have batman year two with the cloth cape now this looks amazing right here <laughs> todd mcfarland did an amazing job on adding a cloth cape on this figure because it's like a usual thing when it comes to Batman figures everyone wants a cloth cape added on to your Batman figure and McFarland did an amazing job with the cape it's very near with the blue alright so this is like the blue on the boots you know the gauntlets and everything right here it's very near and it looks so dope right here it actually captures is you know amazingly when it comes to the accuracy when it comes to the comic book version and you know I mean the, the head sculpt is just really really beautiful right here you know looking really really awesome and you know you could do some of the stuff like using the cloud cape right here if you want to there you go I mean like you know something like that you know? so so this right here looks really really good so let me try to fix the cape Right here on how to align it. All right, there you go. So it looks way better right now. So all we did fold it inside and then try to you know put it back right here when it comes to the cape. Now it looks better right here. Look at that. 
the detail of it. It looks so, so cool. This right here is totally my new favorite blue version Batman. <laughs> it's epic. I mean, if you could put in you no know, wires right here at the back of the cape, that would be dope. But right now, this, it looks so good. I mean, this right here, so there you go. You can check out the detail on focus right here all the way to the head going down right here you know even the gauntlets look amazing and then you know got the boots and you got the clock cape i love wherein you know the cowl is like you know kind of connecting uh the cape right here when it comes to the cowl so it looks really really cool right there man look at that that is so dope now adding on to extra accessories of this figure you do get you know extra hands right here so there you go like a batarang hand and then you got some uh, yeah it's like more of that throwing you know weird hand signs again and then you get of course a batarang which is a big chunk of you know like a fish right here when it comes to the size i mean you can see like the tilapia <laughs> it's too big man but uh, hey you still get a you know batarang so that's uh, that you can take off the hands right here, you know, it's on a bow joint or you know, it's on a peg actually ball peg There you go, but um, You know, I don't want this hand, you know, it feels so bad. This is like a very bad uh, And I don't know I'm not gonna use it already. So that's that's gonna go right there That's gonna stay and this right here is gonna stay awesome Look at that. Now articulation wise guys, uh, for the head of course, obviously you do have a bow joint so you can move it side to side, up and down and tilt it a little. So that's gonna depend on how deep uh, your head is aligned with it. All right, so mine is uh, a little bit of, you know, stuck inside, that's why you can't really move it. But there you go, so you got a lot of movement right there. But if you do keep it a little higher, um, I mean, you do like have a little bit of a, you know, it's just gonna hang there. It's not gonna go all the way to the peg, so that's uh, that. And yeah, another issue is that if you try to keep moving it, it would have like a stress mark right there, but it will not be seen, especially it's gonna cover right here when it comes to, you know, the entire clock cape. So there you go. So if you wanna do that, you can do that. And then you got, uh, you know, arm rotation that can spin 360 you could raise it up about this far got a butterfly joint by McFarlane a bicep symbol right here double jointed elbows that crunches really really nice there you go and then back forward you do have a double you know uh, bow joints right here so you got bow joint right there and then the same goes at the waist so that you can move it side to side you know for both of that and then you can rock it whatever you want to so that's awesome you can make him do the splits about this far then down that much and then forward this much back about this much then you got thigh swivel right there double jointed knees and then of course you got a uh, oh no nope it doesn't have any boot cut there you go so you got a bow hinge right here at the ankles and you guys have that toe cut right there all right guys so just for fun here is a quick size comparison with some of our dc direct you know blue batman figures right here from the past and it looks great right you know if you like the blue version batman this right here it's gonna be one of your crowning jewels right there i mean this guy's color pops already <laughs> it looks so good and here he is next with a 12 inch, you know, a Spin Masters figure right there. So this is also blue, so I thought that would be fun putting it right there. And yes, we're gonna throw in the Super Power Vintage, you know, Batman right here. Now this is the 4 inch, you know, because we already got the 12 inch. Let's put in the 4 inch right there next to him. So yeah, looking really, really cool. I actually love uh, these two together. And yeah, he's gonna get some of, uh, you know, the cape right here so that you can add it on to the cape. Alright guys, so that's my take for the McFarlane Taurus DC Multiverse Batman Year 2 Target Exclusive Batman figure. This is amazing. I love it. You know, the sculpt is amazing. The paint job is amazing. The accessories are, you know, just astonishing. 
it looks great all right this is one of the best batman figures that todd has released this year and it completely hands down all right this is a 10 out of 10 figure and it's totally gonna be a chase especially if you've been collecting a batman uh you know collection uh and this is totally a must-have figure in your collection i mean this is gonna look like this on your shelf you know you can't resist that especially if you check it out you know if you see it and it's available uh, you're not gonna say ah, no, you know i'm gonna pass no it's it's totally a must-have figure so yeah i uh, hope you guys like this video and if you are new to the channel guys please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be updated on every new video we have here we have hundreds of videos on the channel for you guys to check out and if you find one that you like or now nah, we're just happy you're here remember guys life is just one big collection peace out god bless 300 video